Hi, welcome. We are continuing to experiment with this new uh, display that I've received, and it's some some kind of sleepover, so it's going to stay for the weekend. And this is an LG 34 inches, and I wondered how Oracle would look in this. So if we have VirtualBox, and I loaded up the last uh, ISO that we've built on Arc Linux, 19.02, so February release, fourth, uh, fourth version, 024. And VirtualBox kicks in quite um, immediately, actually. He finds out that this resolution is not my standard 1920 or 1080, but what was it again? 2560, I believe, on 1080. That's the resolution of this screen. It's a widescreen from the company LG. Do not remember the code name, but you can find it on YouTube videos. So as you can see, it's a full fledged screen. Oh, my VirtualBox really realizes this. This is my resolution. 2560 on 1080, which makes a beautiful setup to starting in a live environment. For the rest, it's going to be the same. You choose your language, of course. I've added some thing, things in here because some of um, YouTubers or people in general do not know that Arc Linux also contains XFC Openbox and i3. They boot into XFC and stay there. So the graphical representation of the Earth, so the time zones, you select them here, you select them there, or you just click, or if in luck, if this website is online, then you get the information from the website and then this um, happens. So indeed, I'm from Belgium. And then you can set the system language if you want to change it here or here. And then we're up to our keyboard. Being from Belgium, I need my Azerty keyboard, otherwise I'm in trouble. And then you decide if you want to install alongside and you say, okay, I want to install. So split this partition into two partitions or replace a partition. So this partition replace or what I always do is just erase everything and let him decide how much swap there is. Future will tell, but there are things happening in Calamares. So we'll have soon enough a new Calamares. This is the general stuff, you know. You decide if you want to auto login or not, or use another password for the administrator account or the root account. And then basically, basically we're off and we're installing. So everything seems to go according to plan, like the A team says. Everything is going according to plan, and there's no immediate surprise when you install it on such a big screen. And let's pause the video here. All right, all done, it says. Restarting now. Maybe we should just power off first. Get rid of the ISO. Boot up again. And tell them to just boot from drop. So, Arch Linux in VirtualBox on a white screen. There are some remarks. I have the circle seems circle slim a little bit. I'm looking for the proper English word, but not quite circular. So I don't know why that is. You can always make it bigger. It only becomes more apparent that it's not a smooth line. When you make it smaller, it doesn't really help either. That's something that I notice. I've noticed as well, not so much in here, but sometimes as well, 
that the fonts are a little bit off not like in my resolution 1920 so let's have a look at our appearance icons fonts we have not a sans with monospace what happens what would happen if we did something here is we say okay let's go for medium our slight or medium or even full does that improve our fonts what if we go for none i don't know if we can see this this is always the tricky part the fact that this is not really i don't think it's we can see it right now although i do see something green watch these these line and the, the bottom line of the fonts here and i hope you can see it in the video but there is some green shade that comes under it so we should if fonts are not good we should do something about it right the dpi dots per inch is it that improving things or not should we go a little bit up like i don't know 120 this looks a, a bit better on this screen it improves so maybe other people have made tutorials about that saying okay for that screen i always use 120 or 10 or something like that i'm pretty sure the icon of surfing is going to be better because of the fact that it's not circular it's less circular but even so you do see some kind of uh, well jagged edge that's the word jacket jacket edge paper not really an improvement as also these jacket edges how about numix circle light again these lines we see the same stuff happening there is there a nikon theme png this, do they have PNGs or is this SVG? So now I'm thinking, what if Alt N, Alt N? What if um, we went inside file system, user, share icons, the guys from the Arc theme? So Faba, is that SVG or is that PNG? Let's take a look at Breeze as well as the cursor, only the cursor, Eric. Um, that is, does it have apps? This is PNGs. Let's go for the um, 24 size. Not many apps. So all the rest is coming from, I suppose, Fava or something. Fava is here. 24 applications, just, and it is SVG as well. So I'm just wondering if um, it would be, would be better if we had something else as um, SVG or PNG that improves things on this screen. This is an SVG as well, it's hello or a halo, whatever. Okay. Paper looks okay. Maybe the best of the icons yet on this resolution. But here you see as well this jacket edge. As long as you don't have curves, no circular elements, then it's pretty good. But once you get this uh, circle, there's another one here, JPEG. Once it's round, then you have. Um, in this resolution anyway on this screen in this distro you have jagged edges and then all the way down to the sapphire icons sapphire is also circular so they all are a little bit so live with it or change
basically. So that's the icons. I don't know if we can change anything else. We've changed the appearance in here. Fonts. It is an improvement, right? Or this, or that. Do you want it? Don't want it. Might be good as well. Yeah. So back to slides, RGB now. None. What happens then? Okay. We'll have to try and see how uh, things um, look if we have these settings. And you never know, but maybe sometimes you need to log out or restart. I'm not sure which to choose here. Sometimes other settings are only applied after another reboot or another login or logout. Maybe I'm too critical as possible as well. It's actually not that bad. But I'm sitting in front of a screen of 34 inches, 30 centimeters away. So yeah, I'm looking quite close to the screen. So maybe I'm overreacting. I wanted to test something else. What was it again? The browsers. I found the browsers to be kind of ugly. And that's Google as well, or this. So these these fonts are all jagged as well. And does this happen here as well? Well, a little bit. Not that bad. So I was wondering, are there any settings in here? So preferences. Can we do something about fonts and all that? Default fonts is Droid Serif. 16 pixels, advanced. Can we do some stuff here? Serif, 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 default Serif, and space. Choose your own fonts and set up their selections above. Okay. What if we say this one? What happens then? Okay. That's a different look. Let's do that back. Put it back. Okay. And now we have a... Is it now different? Or is the cache playing parts on us? So, those fonts... or those fonts I'm seeing all blurry now is it changed? is it different? I'm not sure it seems like it I'm not sure Yeah. Anything else here about fonts and all that? Use auto scrolling, use smooth scrolling. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess I've looked at it. And does Vivaldi have something similar? You see the fonts here is so small. That's okay, I can read really it. Like 
so. All right. This seems better. Nice homes. This seems to be more crisp, clear. So, why is Vivaldi looking awesome? And why is Firefox not that awesome? How's Google Chrome doing? Well, Chromium, not Google Chrome. Since both are on the same engine, Vivaldi and Chromium slash Chrome, everything looks good. Everything looks good. So maybe it's a Firefox thing. We should have a look at if we can have a better font. And there's of course the Google Chrome thing, which I have not installed. So Google Chrome. Yay, Google Chrome beta. Hey, why not test the beta out? So we have two. The Chrome Dev. That's the last number. Let's go for the Chrome development. Unstable one. It's a dangerous word. Unstable. You're downloading an unstable browser. It's just a beta version, guys. Compressing the package. How does Tuna look? Oh, I hate these colors. Sorry, I don't know who created it, but it's ugly. So, the Mint X from three years ago. Let's go for a surf and papyrus blue. There's actually a lovely one, also papyrus icons, but then a yellowish orange kind of icon, which is, well, the one I always choose if I've installed them. Where is what am I talking about? Yay, Saudi icons. I just did an update, not just for the Saudi icons, but if you say that let's get the Saudi icons, then you see there are more Saudis in the world than you thought. There are 19 packages out there, 19 numbers you can install. And the one I'm talking about is. Poo -poo 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 -poo. Good question. It's gonna be the mono. Those are the vari variations. I think it's gonna be papyrus. Study mono papyrus. Let's have a look and see if I can find them. Come to Papa. Oops. Google Chrome is installed. Yes, he's just waiting. It's lovely, yeah? Yeah, he's waiting for the other one to come free and then it continues. I know, it's fantastic. So let's see if we have this beautiful icon set that I like. If it's installed, I usually go and get it. So the Savvy Mono Papyrus. This one, the Casablanca was the name, Eric. You named it Casablanca. So in a dark, screen with these colors kind of like it so google chrome where are you let's have a look chrome unstable uh-huh 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 no and no and okay now you can go ahead Well, let's have a look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's Alkinex? Fonts are okay. I wonder actually if there are any settings in here for fonts. Settings. Font. JTK theme, show the button. I like this one. I like that one as well. Use system title bar and borders. What's that? We'll see soon enough. And here's the font size, medium recommended. If we take large, we get that. That's a bit too much. And the page zoom. I always do something about the page zoom. 
but we can also set the font minimum font size well that's that's too small okay that's my minimum font size i can still read this a little bit more maybe this changes everything i don't know let's go to download not really everything looks quite normal still standard fonts we could go to Noto Sans Regular, that's the one we use all the time. The question is, is it with R or just Noto Sans? I think it's just Noto Sans. Standard font. The Sans Serif font. Fixed width. I do believe we have a Droid, for instance, Droid Sans model. There is even advanced font settings require extensions from the Chrome Web Store. Aha! Never knew that existed. Okay, that's why. Don't really need those. So I suppose that's not particularly handy for me. Most of the time you need to stop this thing. But here he is. Let's stop and restart. Hope I don't need to reboot. Just let's have a go at it. Uh, Control H. Where's my history? Click on it. Is this any better? Is any different? The only way to do this, guys, is print screen. And even then, after two print screens comparing it, I can't even see it afterwards. So fonts is pretty tricky to see if it's not better or worse than the previous setting but in the end you just need to like it and then it's good for you right projects lots of stuff all right video is long enough this is just a test test run on virtualbox and installing some stuff changing stuff some stuff and finding out if um well how it works on this widescreen of 34 inch all right cheers